So although on a practical level, we're very focused on the combustion testing part of the engine development at the moment. In the background, a lot of effort is going into getting the gas generator ready to run. Now, in order to do that, as I mentioned last week, we've got to cast good quality turbine blades, uh, and we've got to do that to proper production standards. Now, that means that not only do we have to lock down all the processes, but we have to implement all of the quality controls that are necessary uh, to prove each stage of that manufacturing process is right. Um, one of the things that cropped up during some dumbbell testing, so some mechanical strength testing of the super alloys we used to make the blades, is that we'd found a discrepancy in the performance uh, and mechanical properties. Uh, we put that through our full non-destructive testing program and we've now managed to identify the source of that issue which demonstrates not only that we've got the process under control but also that our non-destructive testing methods work. So I'd introduced to you last week that we were concerned that when we were chopping the as supplied cast billet up into smaller coin size pieces and then these little carrot stick size pieces to allow us to charge the crucibles properly that we might be actually damaging the surface of the material and con contaminating it with a wire eroder. We've proved that's absolutely categorically not the case. That process is working just fine uh, and it seems that the uh, source of the problem was that the temperature of the mould, uh, the temperature of the block mould for the blades wasn't held where it should be and that cooled the material too quickly when it was cast and essentially created the equivalent of a, a weld line within the, within the parts that gave it a weakness that caused it to fail. So easily fixed uh, and we're going back uh, next week to cast some more uh, dumbbells with the correct process controls in place so we can repeat, repeat those tensile tests and clear ourselves for turbine blade production. While we've been doing that, we've also now mapped out the full CT scanning um, processes that we're going to use to individually inspect every single turbine blade that we make so that not only can we show uh, that it's defect free and pore free, not only can we show that the composition's correct and not only will we produce from every one of these specimens a tensile test specimen so that we know the materials are doing what they should be, but all of those processes are now locked down and ready to go. So really pleased with the process on that front. Uh, I introduced to you last week uh, that the very first uh, HP turbine disc was being produced and here is the very first GT uh, finished GT50 turbine disc. So this is the curvic coupling that atta attaches to the shaft uh, that drives the, the compressor. Here's your labyrinth seals that create the pressurized cavities around the, the disc to balance the axial load on the bearings. Here's the fir tree roots that the, the turbine blades load into uh, and then you've got the backstop that receives the, um, the locking plate to hold the, uh, the blades in position. So that's the very first one. It's uh, all the manufacturing processes are completed and it's just waiting for its inspection and then it'll be ready for its blades.